Hello, my name is Liliana Navarro. I'm a junior at the University of Arizona, majoring in accounting, and this is my story. I was born in Tucson, Arizona as an only child. My mom is from Hermosillo, Sonora, and my dad is from California. When I was younger, I had to move to Mexico because my mom was deported. This life-changing experience taught me how to be strong, independent, and most importantly, motivated me to be successful to make my parents proud. I knew my parents valued education, and that has been one of my ways to make them feel proud of me all along. In 2005, my parents enrolled me in Booth Bicket. This is where I was hit with another challenge. This school predominantly spoke English, and five-year-old me only spoke Spanish. At a very young age, I learned that anything you want to accomplish requires patience, practice, and intelligence. And a word that others often use to describe me is intelligent, which I proved to be when I learned English within three months. Growing up, I was frequently asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? My answer was always, I want to be a teacher like my dad. My desire to become a teacher has not changed. However, I was hit with the reality that teachers are not paid well. In high school, I consistently received the highest grade on math tests. I received diplomas for achieving the overall highest grade in all my math classes. It was then that I found the accounting major to be the perfect fit for me. Outside of school, I enjoy doing community service. In high school, I was the president of Kino Teams, which is a club of students that travel to Nogales, Sonora to visit El Comedor. El Comedor is a soup kitchen that serves food to recent deported migrants. I continue going on my own because I know the feeling of what it's like to go through deportation issues. I am also involved in the Blessed Nuna Society. This is an organization that travels to an orphanage in Agua Prieta, Sonora. These experiences make me realize that I should be grateful for the littlest things because some are not as fortunate. I love going to this orphanage and seeing the joy children get from having visitors. It's an opportunity to give them a reason to smile when they might not feel like being happy due to their circumstances. I plan to graduate in May of 2021. After graduation, I hope to have a full-time offer secured. My dream job consists of continuing being involved with students by being a campus recruiter for my company while also doing accounting. Thank you for watching my video. Feel free to contact me at my email and connect with me in LinkedIn.